crackheads, they're lazy, they're just drunk. They choose to be homeless. They're always harassing me for money. Why should I care about them? In my honest opinion, I don't, I don't know how to feel about them. They might be rich, but they're kind of hiding themselves to be homeless. They always ask for a lot of change. You can't judge how a homeless person became homeless. Uh, there are a lot of people that are homeless for absolutely no good reason. In the city of Toronto, statistics tell you that uh, in any given year, there's at least 10,000 uh, youth that are homeless. And in any given night, there are 2,000 youth uh, on the streets of Toronto. And um, that's, that's way too high. I think one homeless person is way too high, but definitely 2,000 people, 2,000 youth in one night. And um, there are situations, there are circumstances where that could have been avoided. schizophrenia and sometimes I don't act appropriately uh, in the society and in the community. For men, women that are homeless, it could be the breakdown of a marriage, the loss of a job, uh, mental health, some type of sickness. Uh, where they can no longer uh, tend to, you know, the normal routine of life, like holding down a job, paying bills, and so forth. I was working, and and have some breakdown due to stress. Now that you're homeless, nobody's required to give you any medication up un uh, unless you agree to stay in a home and they supervise you and the social worker will monitor you taking your meds. I, I asked for money in the public, panhandling. I eat here and there. I sleep here and there. You know, at the city hall, Osgood Hall, they have breakfast in the morning and the Salvation Army truck You know, these things just happen. You don't expect them to happen. You don't imagine it will happen. And do you go anywhere when it's cold? Yeah, the shelter. And is it hard to get in? No, like uh, people that goes around, they, they see to it that you go to the shelter for the, the warning of the uh, bad weather. Right now I'm enjoying living outside. You don't have stress. like group homes and stuff so it's kind of like jail but you're allowed to leave every once in a while well after that the uh, children's aid ha uh, couldn't uh, control where I stayed so I tried to go back to live with my w with my mother 
but like I kind of felt like like their lives would move on without me, so I I, I just decided it was better off that I was on my own. I just kind of took it as it is. I, I just kind of I accepted it. Did you feel numb at all, or any kind of shock? No, I knew exactly what was going on. I, you weren't scared. No. the Ontario Safe Streets Act, uh, which uh, prohibits, you know, um, public solicitation of funds or so forth, which, you know, directly affects panhandling or squeegee uh, kids. Um, that, in, in essence, has caused criminal activity to go up because now it's criminal, but, you know, uh, a lot of youth have no other means of making money, so they disregard the act and then they find themselves on the wrong side of the law. I end up going to jail a lot. And cops don't like homeless people. They're trying to clean up the streets, right? So that, that their solution is to th put them all in jail, find reasons to. Whether it be uh, they're, they, they, they've got an open can of beer in public, uh, or uh, you're drunk in public, just throw you in jail. Absolutely. Why do you think that is? They're trying to clean up the streets. I mean, the people who take, pay taxes and stuff don't, uh, don't like to see people sitting on the sidewalk, right? Do you think that's fair? No, but it happens. Well, you sit in one spot all day, you see a thousand people walk by, you're going to see the best and worst of everybody, right? Well, lots of people help out. Like, we put a hat out all day, uh, sit here. Uh, and people help us out, give us some money so we can eat and drink and have fun. Kick, kick your, uh, kick my hat full of change all over the place and I'm scrambling and they go push me over while I'm trying to pick it up. It's like, get a job. Or a bunch of different stuff. And how do you respond to that? Just let it go most of the time. Yeah, I learn a lot of stuff. Uh, if the world goes to shit, uh, if the world uh, falls into anarchy, uh, I, I'll be okay. Make sure you got enough blankets to keep warm at night and keep eating during the day. I don't really see any of your hit or negatives. No. Oh. date raped, losing my keys. And I said, all right, well, I don't want to explain this to my father because he's not going to be able to do anything about it. He's just going to have so much rage that this happened to his daughter that he loves. I guess I'm homeless now. It was a really dark time in my life. I spent months in bed just not being able to move. I, I have clinical depression, PTSD from some other trauma I've experienced. We just deal with what life brings us and then by the time that it comes you know we try not to deal with too many angry drunk people because that's dangerous right like we don't want to get followed to our sleep spot some of the safety issues uh, for homeless people especially women is uh, sexual abuse or sexual solicitation uh, and that happens a lot. Uh, at least 60% of women uh, that are homeless have encountered some type of sexual abuse or sexual solicitation um, and is one of the causes for them becoming homeless uh, and is also a cause for some, uh, some homeless women to not want to stay in institutions or so forth because they feel it is unsafe. They 
I could not honestly tell you how many times I've been sexually assaulted. By other homeless people or? People. Just people. It doesn't, it doesn't matter like what socioeconomic status they have or what lifestyle they've had. It, it would be nicer if someone said, hey, you know what? Fuck off, homeless scum. Suck my dick. Instead of just treating us like we don't exist. Like, if we say something, you're like, hey, could we bum or buy a cigarette? You know, just don't lie to me. Just tell me, don't fucking want to give you anything. It'd be a fucking cool. You meet, like, the best and the worst kinds of people, but luckily, there are so many more better kinds of people, or at least people trying to be better people, right? goal is to make dreams come true for homeless youth by creating uh, positive initiatives and solutions that will rebuild, inspire, and employ them. Turning my life around, I realized it only took one person to believe in me to change my life, so I wanted to create a support system of people that would believe in these youth. We've also raised or collected close to five tons of donations, which we've donated. And there's, there's no telling really the amounts of people that that all came in contact with. And we have our hero training where we have you know, youth coming in to be inspired by motivational speakers and entrepreneurs. And uh, we do that monthly as well. So it's hard to really say. I, I, I'm not counting, but we're helping quite a few people considering we've only been around for two years. I'm following my calling. It's just what I want to do. It's, it's what I believe all of us at some point should do with their lives.